day three of Zoomerang. We are doing science experiment stellar stethoscope. What I would suggest on this one um, is to purchase some funnels first before you purchase your tubing because you want to make sure that your funnel will fit snugly into your tubing, okay? So this one is going to allow the kids to actually hear their heartbeat, and yes, this stethoscope does work. Um, so once you order or get your funnels, hard plastic funnels, um, you, what is this, probably one and a half, two inches diameter at the most, because we need to stretch a balloon over there. Okay, now, earlier in the week, it's probably a good idea have, to have um, knowledge if you have anyone in your class that has a latex allergy. If you do have kids that have a latex allergy, and if it is very severe, where they can't be anywhere near this, these stethoscopes will work without the balloon. So you can just get rid of the balloon altogether. Okay, so what we're gonna do for this is like I said, get your, get your funnels and then go, you can go, just go to a hardware store, they sell it in rolls, um, and then you just need to cut pieces that are like one foot in length. You're gonna cut your balloon so that we can stretch it over our, I'm just throwing this piece away, so that we can stretch it over our funnel. Um, when we did this one, we had the, um, the children pair up so that one could hold their funnel uh, while the other one stretched their balloon onto there. And then you just put your balloon into the edge, one of the edges. Now, this tubing is thick enough so that when a child inserts it into their ear, it is not going to go into their ear canal. So it is safe for them to put it into their ear. And they just place it in here, place this over their heart. My heart's beating. Okay, so that one works. So that was Stellar Stethoscope. All right, the next experiment for day three is called Toothpick Heartbeat. Now, this one is very, very hard to detect. It's a very small movement. Um, so I have a helper here who I am going to try to detect his heartbeat because even my talking will make mine jump around so much that you won't hear me. So these are just mini marshmallows. You just get a mini marshmallow and a toothpick. That's it. Okay, then the child is gonna stab this toothpick into their mini marshmallow. And to look for your pulse point, I need to move this to look for my pulse point. If you go from where your thumb side of your wrist is, if you put like right there where the bend is, put one finger there and then put the next finger down, right here on the side, I can feel my pulse, okay? So right about here, it's between two tendons. You can feel the two tendons if you rub back and forth. So if you could put your arm down here, please, like up here, and I'm gonna feel for his, right there. Yo, it's nice and strong. And then he's just going to balance that there and if you look very carefully, it's just a tiny little tick. There it goes, going with the heartbeat. So it's not a very big movement. So this is a great time to get the kids to be very calm and quiet. Okay? All right, and that is day three, toothpick heartbeat.